Hello everyone, my name is Ryan Boyd and I'm going to show you how to download and install Neo4j on Mac OS X. I'm going to first visit neo4j.com slash download here and then I'm given the option to install Neo4j for a business or for an individual. I'm going to choose the individual option to download the community edition but if you want the advanced HA clustering and backup functionality, you'll want to try out the enterprise trial. So for the community edition, I'm going to click there and then I'm given the option. It detects that I'm on OS 10 and it gives me the option to download the DMG. I'm going to click that link and you can see that my download has started and it's in progress up here. Uh, I'm going to wait for this to complete. We have about one second here and then I'm going to open this up. So we can see the instructions here implied by the arrow that I need to move this over to my applications folder, which I'm going to do and double click on the applications folder. And then I'm given the option to launch the Neo4j community edition, which I'm going to do that. It was downloaded from the internet. I'm still okay with launching it. Uh, and we have our Neo4j community edition launcher here. So the database location by default points into your documents folder and it will create a brand new Neo4j database. If you click on options, you can see how to edit some of the configuration and JVM properties to configure your Neo4j instance for maximum performance. You can also see the plugins directory that is used by Neo4j and this importantly is used for Java stored procedures. So you can copy Java stored procedures into that plugins directory such as the APOC uh, advanced procedures on Cypher library and then you can restart Neo4j after the plugins are there. I'm going to click on close. I'll click on start here to start Neo4j. In a few seconds it will be ready. And once it starts up, I'm given a URL I can click on here on localhost 7474, which is the default port for Neo4j. And I'll enter in the default password, which is Neo4j. I'm asked to create a new password, which I will do. And then we're already in Neo4j. This is the Neo4j browser, which allows you to browse your database as a developer and see the types of data that is in it, the database run some sample scripts and queries and store some of your favorite queries. But you can also use the Neo4j browser to just start learning about Neo4j. I would learn about what a graph database is if you're not already familiar with it and understand the property graph and then jump very quickly into code. One of the great examples here is the movie graph, which you can see uh, contains both movies as well as actors and directors and you can guide through by clicking on one of these queries, in this case creating the data, hitting play, seeing the data in the form of a graph, and then continuing on to find particular movies within the database. So for instance, we want to find the movie with the title of Cloud Atlas. We can click on here. The query pops up at the top. We hit the play icon and we have the movie named Cloud Atlas. Well, that's it for installing and getting started using Neo4j. I'd encourage you all to download it and check it out.